Hello everyone, this is Rendergapi. Welcome to a Random Flow 2. Point, version 2.0 update video. So I'm going to discuss the Natchez feature that I forgot to do in the main update video. So this is the Natchez properties in uh, random panels. We have the count, the size, and the randomized seed. So let's use it. This works for walk and Rajal uh, solvers, but this is mainly created for the Rajal solver to make it to make the um, its result more interesting. Okay, so let's try it. So let's go up to forty, um, thirty. So the size of the notches is based on the uh, size of the uh, subdivided faces. So let's go to Rachel and increase the size of the islands and increase the count of the notch notches to something like two. So size size will have it will be randomized from one to the uh, maximum number you have put here. So for example five. So the nut the size of the notches will be one to five and you can control the randomization the randomization here controls the uh, the location of the uh, notches and also the size so you can increase the count but it will never so for example you have 20 here, it won't go past the number of face islands that you have available in the um, in the random panels operation. You can increase this as well. And also, so this is the uh, randomization for the notches, and this is the randomization for the panels. So let's make it three. So this makes it. This makes the uh, result of the radial array much more interesting. So the size. The size will not go like this. The size will always go like this. And if it rounds out, uh, if it rounds out of faces at this edge, it can go like this. It can hug the uh, corner faces. So if you increase, so let's go for forty. If you increase the resolution, the size of the faces also uh, scales down, and you can see that the notches become smaller and smaller as you increase the resolution of the faces. Okay, so remember that if you are uh, designing the random result, let's go back to forty. And uh, so this is this is mainly meant for Rachel, but you can use, also use it for random uh, for the walk solver. The walk solver, uh, it, the result is uh, pretty much random, very very random, and this is mainly for the random loop extrude to make those uh, mechanical uh, looking results and in random panels you might need to really uh, play with the settings to get the stuff that you want a uh, good looking uh, pattern that you want de depending on the topology of course but a more stable one is of course radial because you only have squares but without the notches, you can see that it's kind of uh, depending on the topology also. But if you're uh, going to use it or something like this uh, face here, it looks kind. The result uh, looks kind kind of flat. But if you include the notches, you also Increase its uh, 
you make it more interesting instead of there's nothing so something like that oh so you have a more a stable solver for the radio and you can up the interest or up its interest uh, value using the notches in the future there will be more uh, features for the radial uh, like um, the sizes of it so the so the size won't be um, the same the same for all for all of the panel islands so that's for the future so for now the net notches are also a good uh, addition to make the results interesting so let's try it with uh, auto mirror x y and z random panels 25 and get rid of the center line so we increase the there we go you have uh Now I can randomize the, after uh, selecting a proper, uh, selecting a panel C that you want, you can go ahead and just uh, randomize the notch, notch seed or notch result for their location and sizes. And what's interesting about this is you can always just pull and pull this, pull and push these spaces to create some of L. Oh no, we need we only need the top faces, something like that. Or you can use the randomization here. Create random indentations or random depths. So let's try it for with some of the spaceship that I have. Let's try it on this one, the base mesh. So this is the uh, cockpit area. Let's get rid, of, get rid of the center line, use radial, increase the panel islands, uh, increase the panel island size, introduce the, okay, that's too big, let's increase the resolution. So plan out your resolution and don't use too much, depending on your, on the underlying topology. So one, two, three, four, five. So it has a chance of having uh, five faces as its size. So increase the count as well. Randomize and see what we get. Okay, so that looks, so this looks more uh, useful. And uh, the, sh the, the the design makes more sense than actually just using, not using the notches. So you have something like that versus you ha versus having notches, of course. But without notches from before, you can always up up the design by uh, using random results on top of another random result. So kind of like that. But with the notches, of course, you'd have uh, this one. So let's decrease the size to increase the size of the notches. So, so no subdivision.
Let's just use one notch. There we go. So, yeah. It really, it's, it's a useful uh, addition. And then you can come in and just manually uh, put, uh, and just put in some man, uh, some manually manual designs. Uh, manually put in some designs. I mean, so this will be the cockpit window. Be sure to use inset to make the detail more apparent. So versus just using extrude and then doing like that so it it's harder to see so just inset and then control for the depth to make it look like it's beveled so the details are uh more obvious okay Let's try the one. Let's try this in this part. And let's increase the subdivision. Use two notches. There we go. Let's try extruding something else, something, uh, extruding some faces here as well. So also use inset, uh, oops, inset, press B to get rid of the border and the symmetry line, and then just raise it up. Just like that. So. A combination of random flow and manually putting in some uh, designs by extruding and insetting. So, yeah, that's the notches feature. <laughs> we need a single notch. Okay, that's the notches feature. And hopefully in the next version, I'd have the uh, randomized size for each panel islands, uh, radial panel islands as well. And that will only be available for radial notches. Uh, it's available for, for walk and for the radial solver. Okay. So that is it for this uh, video. If you have any questions, uh, be sure to use the comment sections below uh, or the links in the description. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.